Welcome to BioCreative Channel. Let's talk about structural and regulatory gene. Hey, son. How was school today? It was good, Dad. We had a biology class. And we were learning about genes. Sounds interesting. What specifically were you learning about genes? We talked about structural genes and regulatory genes. Structural genes are the ones that code for proteins and RNAs. Like enzymes and structural proteins. They also include non-coding RNAs. Like transfer RNAs. And ribosomal RNAs. So, by non-coding RNA you mean a functional RNA molecule. That is not translated into a protein. Yes dad. You are absolutely right. Ah, uh, I see. So, what did you learn about how these structural genes are organized in prokaryotes and eukaryotes? Let me recall what my teacher taught in the class. In prokaryotes, the structural genes with related functions are usually found together, regulated by a single promoter and operator. The promoter is where RNA polymerase binds to start transcription. The operator is a DNA segment where regulatory molecules attach. That's a good summary. And what did you learn about the clinical aspect of studying structural genes? We discussed that studying structural genes clinically can help identify genetic variations or mutations in the sequences. It's important for understanding and treating genetic disorders. Very informative. And what about regulatory genes? What's their role? My teacher told me that. Regulatory genes code for repressor proteins in prokaryotes. These proteins control the expression of structural genes. The regulatory sequences are located kilobases away from the initiation site of transcription, and they can activate or repress the expression of specific genes. So, the regulatory genes essentially play a role in controlling when and how the structural genes are expressed. It sounds like you had a comprehensive lesson. Anything you'd like to ask or discuss further? I think I've got a good grasp of it. But do you know why regulatory sequences are so far from the transcription start site? That's a great question. The distance allows for intricate control over gene expression, making sure it happens at the right time and in the right amounts. It's like having a remote control for gene activity. That makes sense. Thanks, Dad. I'm always here for your science questions. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe for more videos.